Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing today? Put some information in here. One question per person. Doing this with our co-host. Bear with me as I put stuff in here. It sure looks like I'm being shadow banned in this place. Maybe I'll throw a little sage on and see what happens. Go for a little Palo Santo. Clear this area up a little bit. There we go. Clear up the space with a little Palo Santo. You probably can't see this, but we're just securing the environment. All right. I think that should do it. Make that a nice, clear, sacred space. So we're doing live uh, questions and answers. One question per person. Waiting for my co-host. Doing one question per person. Doing live questions and answers. Um, if anybody would like a card, all I ask is that you donate or you uh, like, follow, share, and subscribe. Uh, donations are greatly appreciated but not required for your single question. So if anybody has a question, please put it into the comment window and we'll start pulling some cards. So do we have anybody with a question? Do we have anybody with a question? I'm pulling live cards today, one question per person. Donations are not required. Um, I, they are appreciated. However, all I ask is that you go ahead and uh, like and follow the live. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Yeah, I'm not getting a lot of people. I, I, I swear I'm shadow banned on this place. Uh, well, we got to stop saying it, though. <laughs> <laughs> so they say. Um, yes, I had my girlfriend on last night, and then she said, I'll do it again tonight. So, um, let's see. I got a couple people popping on it. Good morning, everyone. So we're doing one question per person. Larry or myself can answer them. We are normally on Monday mornings and Thursday mornings. Um, we will also be doing a group healing on the 88 portal on that Sunday. If anyone's interested, we just started posting about that. So sign up. Um, anyone? Looks like we got one question. Do Go ahead. Yeah. Finish up the... Uh, the rest of that, and the, uh, then I'll answer the question yeah, so, for Miles Fox. Yeah, reach out to us. So Larry does his readings as well as um, Light Language, so make sure you're checking out his YouTube channel. And then we're both going to be doing some one free question, as well as we're doing $20 free mini, or uh, free minis, and $40 um, regular readings, only for August only. So reach out and put your question in the chat so we can answer it. He's going to do one right now and show you what he's about to do. All right, so Miles Fox 23 dollar sign is asking, will I receive the rest of my settlement from the car wrecks this year? Car wreck? Okay, uh, at first I thought I saw wrecks, but it says from my car wreck uh, this year or next year. Hmm. All right, Spirit gave us two, and let's see what hmm. it says. Uh, so I'm getting a double yes, uh, Miles Fox. It's sunny outlook, blossom open for divine inspiration. Uh, so that's the first card, and the second card is clearing the air, uh, refreshing change. So hopefully that helps. Uh, so please like, follow, share, and subscribe to the channel as an energy exchange. 
All right. If anyone else doesn't, otherwise we'll start with a collective and see where the energy is. You're are. welcome, Miles. All right. We're just clearing the space. All right. Yeah, I used Ooh. a little Palo Santo today. Mm-hmm. Energies were interesting. All right, let's see if there's anyone. Did anyone pop anything? Uh, easy pictures to draw. Is that... Um... I'm not sure what the uh, no. Uh, uh, uh. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know what you're talking about, whether you're talking about Shelby I had on my call last night. Um, she is talking about past life regression. Larry and I are working together to do these um answer questions as well as to get readings and um, help some people out there. So that's why we are on together. Um, we are working together. My cup of coffee is a lot smaller. Yeah, yours always is. No. Easy pictures to draw, that's a no. Interesting. Oh. Did you want a reading? Did you have a question? Mm -hmm. um, I see. Let's see. Uh, what type of reading? Well, Larry usually focuses on love. I can do love or your Akashic, your higher self. Um, Usually whatever your angels and your guides want you to know. Um, so I can do angel messages, um, starseed messages, messages from your person, um, your soulmate, uh, message from your angels. It just depends how much. Um, it is $20 for a mini and $40 for a full. So we're only doing the minis on here. Um, and then we have either PayPal or Venmo. Yeah, you and back? you can do messages from your person as well for 10 Yes, it's true. Hmm. Yeah, so um, if you want to jump on, I'm going to do the, a TikTok tonight. She's on the West Coast. She was going to try and jump on this morning, but I don't. I think she's working. Um, but um, I posted it and I sent it to you about like just her going over the past life regression, as well as trying to reach out, figure out we could. The more we kind of network with more people, I think the better. Yeah, I would. I would try it. My biggest problem is because most of them require visualization. It doesn't work for me. That's where that's where it always gets stumped. Well, you also are creating that by saying it doesn't work, but um, I didn't think I could go under, but I, I did. Um, I think it was interesting. I had three past lives come through, and actually she cleared me of, um, I was having much issues at that time with my bladder, and it cleared. Um, what yeah, like I said, I'll, I'll talk to her. I'll see if I give it a go. I've, I've attempted it so many times that it just, I get sometimes frustrated with those. Yeah, well, yeah, I just figured it'd be that, and there's a couple more people re popping on, but I think if we're going to do these group healings that we can start getting some more people on. Um, Ginger Kellen. Good morning, everyone. Does anyone have a question? want to pop it into the chat for myself or Larry. And then, um, did that person want to do a mini or not? Easy pictures. Or you can reach out and get a full reading for either one of us and we can do it offline as well so if you don't want to do it on here we can do it offline as well i also do some messages from past love life lot or um past on loved ones i can talk this morning i'm still having my coffee Whew. i got to clean out closets and then larry the tv's downstairs and i started to move some more stuff so oh that's but, good progress uh, progress progress yeah i just messed up my allergies i can't be down there very long mm -hmm. Well, you got to run that machine and take it all down. The dust, yeah. Um, I can do that with the TV on, right? It doesn't matter. Yep, it doesn't matter. It's not going to hurt anything. All right, we got a bunch of people on. So does anyone have any questions? Does anyone want to pop something in the chat so myself or Larry can answer it? Love, career, what's coming? Um, 
let us know. Otherwise, we'll start with a collective and you can kind of jump on. But just know it's first come. Um, and if we do appreciate donations too, by the way. So we are single parents. This is what we do. Um, our industries have gone a little haywire. So um, this is our source of income. So it is energy based reading. So we would appreciate any kind of donations as well. Uh, and that way you can get bumped to the front of the line as well. Let's say good morning, everyone. Good morning. I see you popping on. Anyone have any questions? Also, you can ask Larry about, hey, good morning, Super Sarah. Um, Larry, about light language, if you have any questions or if you have any questions regarding readings. I also do Reiki. Good morning, Super Sarah. Just want to drop my, oh, thank you, Sarah. Thank you for dropping by. Um, and then I was on last night, so you can check out a post I did on my Instagram with my girlfriend, Shelby, who is Divine Love with Shelby. She does past life regression. So if you ever heard of QHHT, she will go through that with you. And I highly recommend her. Um, she's been doing it for a year. I think we talked, she did over 25 people. So um, it is a little bit more expensive, but she is um, spending a lot of time with you. It can take up to two to six hours, depending. Um, she really wants to get to know you and pull out some of those past lives from you. So um, it is um, via like hypnosis. So you kind of have to be relaxed to do it. How did, how did it go yesterday? It went well. I think if you're asking about the thing with Shelby, it went well. I'm going to do it again tonight on TikTok. So if you missed it, I'm going to have her back on again tonight on TikTok. Um, and then Larry and I will be on here uh, again on Thursday. And then we are posting about the um, the group healing if you're interested in that. And that's going to be on 8-11 at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, All right. Let me pull a collective love reading here uh, for anybody yeah. who's watching and is too shy to ask. We're going to ask, what is the collective energy and love today, Spirit? And right away we got one. I'm going to see if I can get two cards, Spirit. Are you Are going to give me another card? Yep. And so, basically, Spirit's saying, trust the process, right? The situation is calling for you to have faith and make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So, trust the process. And at the same time, make an effort. Uh, don't just sit back in the sidelines. And so with that, uh, let's see if anybody else uh, has a question. Uh, put, please put the questions into the comment window. And all we ask is that you like, follow, and share uh, this live so that uh, we get some sort of an energy exchange inside of that. If you'd like to donate, as Susan said, that would be wonderful. Uh, because we do have bills to pay and food to feed. And uh, with that, any questions? We have Shay Fizzy Unicorn jumping on. Um, Super Sarah says, what a perfect message. Head it out. Have a great day. What kind of question can you ask? Amy, you can ask any question. I love um, timing, career. All right, it looks like we're working on our root chakra. I'm going to pull some charms and see what the collective is. Yeah, Amy, pop in your question. Um if it's a person you're asking for, we can try and get a message for them. See, like we have an elephant, so look that up as your spirit animal. And the starfish seems to keep coming up. Let's see if Amy's going to pop in a question. And then, meanwhile, let's look up starfish. So, you guys ever look up whatever it is that you're coming into contact with? Make sure you're looking up the numbers that you're saying if you're starting to awaken. And then starfish, um, just put spiritual meaning in and see what pops up and see what it relates to. Um, so basically duality, regeneration, and creativity. Starfish, um, such as dreams, real life, and ancient cultures. It is a link to hope, guidance, protection, good luck, and divine love. So some of you might have some divine love. I did do a Thank you, Ella. With um, Shelby last night, and I did some angel messages, and love messages came out with which I wasn't planning on. So, um, there are some divine unions coming in. What kind of questions? Yeah, actually, I had one of my. When you say that, I had one of my viewers from my Light Language channel. Mm -hmm. She she basically uh, got she she's uh, out in the uh, Middle East, and mm -hmm. she basically told me that her uh, her divine uh, masculine proposed. Mm -hmm to her 
yeah, she, just yesterday, and she said thank you for the light language because the light language was what really helped her move to the next shift. I was uh, really shocked at this. Uh, I get a lot of, I have a lot of uh, clients and uh, viewers from Middle East, from India. Uh, they seem to really resonate with my my stuff, with my light language, and uh, they from time to time will come in and check in and just hit me up in Messenger and say, hey, this wonderful thing happened, or hey, something's coming in my field. Can you make a video for it? So I thought that was a really wonderful message. And so any of you guys that were hearing that, jump on um, Larry's YouTube. He's got lots of light languages for many different things, whether it's love, healing your heart, whatever it is. Um, and you can actually get a personal light language from him as well. So make sure you're reaching out because here's the thing, either it's Reiki or whatever, we're going through this transition um, and this upgrade. And it doesn't matter who you are, we're all going through it. It's just a matter of where you are on your journey. Um, you're having to release a lot of emotions and a lot of stuff that's going on. There's a lot of tower moments because things have to be taken away from people for the new to come in. So if there's something that you haven't released, you will be forced to release it if it's not for your highest and best good. So just know there's everyone's kind of going through it right now. Oh, Medusa. Well, thank you so much, uh, Ella. You've sent a whole bunch of little wonderful things. And I'm glad I've helped you because, you know, that's what we're here for. Uh, to me, and that's what I said to said to my one uh, viewer, uh, and she's kind of a personal friend too. You know, we've mm -hmm. talked for a lot of years, and uh, she basically, you know, told me that, and I was like, look, if I've helped one person, I've done what I'm supposed to do. Uh, I don't need much more, uh, but yeah. it just makes me feel warm inside that, you know, all the effort that I've been putting out is actually helping somebody. Yeah, and well, so I've got a question here. Yeah, yeah, you and Larry are helping at least a couple of people, which is huge. So it makes right. a bigger impact that we're both on here. So right. Skittles, question uh, is. Yeah, Skittles 2280 is asking, will Jim and I reconnect? And I'm just going to get yeah. your energy, Skittles. Okay. Let's see what we got here. All right, so What's the energy? Go ahead. Believe and trust. So for the collective, it's believe and trust. Yeah, so that's the second trust we've gotten in the collective. You notice that? Mm -hmm. uh, and will Jim and Skittles reconnect? I'm just going to get your energy first. Oh, Spirit, I don't, I'm not taking that many. You know I don't take that many cards. We do it one or two at a time. Thank you. So what I got was Real Feelings, Skittles, and Twin Flame Union. I don't know if this resonates with you or not, but it seems to be a lot of that in the energies. Yes. That I'm seeing right now, uh, you know, it just at least in my awareness, I'm seeing a lot of that coming on from a lot of my viewers. Uh, so ooh, I just cleared something, whatever it was, just ran right through yes. me. Um, so well, I hope that will is, answer your question. Yeah, and a lot of unions are coming in, but you have to be careful. Is is it a same loop that's coming in, or has this person really changed? So some of you guys are going to be tested with it's your soulmate or your twin coming in. So make sure you're using your discernment and knowing whether that person's um, doing the work. Yeah, and, and, and like and you're not going back into the same toxic loop because don't look at it as taking something that you think is union that is not. Right, and you have to you have to really discern. You have to work at the energies because a lot of what also has been coming up is crossroads, and uh, a lot of uh, illusion and mazes. Uh, as Susan said, you keep sticking into the same loop uh, because you're making the same decisions and the same choices over and over again. And you have to start to recognize the patterns, and as you recognize the patterns, you open yourself up for the healing. So hopefully that helps. So any more? Qu <coughs> Excuse me. Any more questions coming in? Um, let me see if Amy finally put one into the chat. No. Um, all eyes on who? Oh, thank you for the flowers. Yeah, Amy, make sure you pop your question in the chat. If you have one regarding work, um, career, um, whether something's coming in for you, um, changing houses, we get everything from past love, life, love, love, past on love one. I can talk this morning. And then um, really just, you know, if your person is your person, however you want, or any messages that you want to pop in the chat. So I would just just ask the question uh, if you, you know, if you don't know how to word it, uh, I could just you could just think of the question, and I can try to pull a card. I just need the subject. Uh, if you don't if you don't want it to be out in public, uh, otherwise you could ask the question, you know, and just send me a DM, and I will answer it. 
Amy, pop it back in because for whatever reason, I'm not seeing anything. Just the last thing I have from you is what kind of question can I ask? So sometimes for whatever reason, it doesn't pop into the chat. I'm not sure why. I wonder if it just filters certain questions. Sometimes it does. All right. So Janelle wants to know, should I keep hope for Kevin? Uh, Hedge and I, let's, let's see what the energies are. Spirit, what are those energies for Kevin and Janelle? So we got two really popped out. There's still a lot of chemistry. Uh, keep an open mind, but I think there's more information that needs to come out, Janelle. And what's going on with Janelle and Kevin? And I'm going to get a message card for you as well. Uh, I think there's another connection coming in, Janelle. I don't think it's him. That's why I needed to pull that out. And I'm just going to ask a yes or no question. Spirit, is that a new person coming in? And right away, Spirit pops out. And uh, you see the picture of baby? And it's saying, walk before you run, fresh outlook, baby steps. Uh, baby usually also means a new beginning. So I'm thinking, don't hold up for Kevin. I think you, once you make the space for something that new, something that new is coming in. So I hope that uh, I hope that answers your question, Janelle. So all eyes on you. I did not see a question, so repost it in there. Yeah, Amy, I'm seeing your your question right now. So let's see. She's asking, what do you think it means when I see the time of day two 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 three 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 four four four. So it just means you're seeing angel numbers and it means you're awakening. So you're starting to notice it. Um, two to two is usually love. It, it can, um, I'm going to read it from the angel numbers deck. So. Yeah, while you're pulling that, I'm just going to add one more comment to that too. And it's, you know, my perspective as well. Uh, everybody will have theirs. Uh, you, usually when you start to see a lot of them at once, it means you're becoming more in alignment with uh, what you're supposed to be doing, what you're a soul uh, wants to be so the more you see them uh, d you don't have to dig into every one of them uh, what you what you should do is you should realize that you know whatever you're doing figure out what it is that you're doing it's an alignment and then if you start to see multiples of the same one that's the one you want to dig into and that's just my perspective uh, everybody does have a perspective on that well, and the other thing you have to know is what's going on. This is huge. So when you're seeing like a license plate number or whatever, you need to recognize what's going on in your head. What are you thinking too? What's going on at that exact time? Because usually it's answering something that's going on in your thing. So 444 is usually angels. 222 is saying you have the ability to lift up the hearts of all those around you like an angel on earth. You were born to shine. Um, 333 is usually Ascended Masters, but it's also you're powerfully aligned with Jesus and other Ascended Masters at this time. You are in a crucial point on your journey where you can go beyond all previous setbacks. And 444 is you're surrounded by a thousand, a hundred thousand angels. Miracles are happening before your eyes. So make sure you're paying attention. Also look up the numbers too. Like just say 444 and look up angel number and Sometimes whatever pops up, um, it has a different meaning for at that time and what you're going through at that time, too. But they are reassuring you that you're on the right path, you're getting it onto alignment, and they're just making you aware so you're seeing those synchronicities. All right. Will McGill. Okay, all eyes on who? Will McGill. You're welcome, Amy. Um, will Miguel and a third party Glenda ever break up for good? Okay, well, let's see. this. All eyes on who? Is, it, is your name Cher? Is that what it is? Oh, jeez, that was fast. You're saying it's complicated. And it's undetermined as well as unclear. Um, so let's try and see what is going on with Miguel and the third party. Let's do some of these blinded by love. So no, if anyone's ever taken away and they have a third party, that means they have karma to finish out. So you have to let them go through whatever it is, as painful as it is. Um, this person is saying, I do love you, but is love enough? And they're saying, you always hold a special place in my heart. Um, it is saying they might be coming back. Um, oh, wow. 
This could be your twin. So on this journey, twin flame journey is basically a healing journey back to yourself. So know whatever it is, it's triggering you to heal something within you. So keep going within. And the reason that that person's with someone else at this time is they have karma that they're dealing with on their end and they have to heal from it. So they have to go through that. Um, yeah, there's secret stuff going on. So um, they're saying slow down, allow things to flow naturally. But uh, don't force anything. Um, you probably have a soulmate or new love coming in. So, um, Miguel, anything that this third party is going through with Glenda, just know that this is for both of your healing journeys. So either that person is going to heal and they're going to come back, because after that there is re reconciliation. So you might have both of them coming in. You might have the soulmate and that twin coming in, and that's going to use your discernment of whether you want to go through another loop um, or whether you want to move on to calmer orders with a soulmate. But someone can't wait to see you again. And they are sorry for hurting you. But yeah, it's confirming that third party. Someone's definitely involved karmically. So just trust that what's meant to be is going to be and that they're learning their lessons through this other person and you have to kind of allow them to learn their lessons. You see him. Okay, so you want to know whether he's coming back? Oh, I think we just answered that, did we not? Okay, is Miguel coming back? Um, I'm saying not right now. So we can get some timing of whether he does pop back. Um, it's saying stay positive about it, but here's the thing, if it's real as your twin, when you're truly ready for it, um, they always will come back. That's the whole point of the twin flame. You can't really get rid of them. Um, they will always come back. Um, it's a learning lesson. It's a trigger, but it's differentiating whether that's your real true twin or it's a catalyst or a karmic twin or a false twin just teaching you your lessons. So it's using that discernment. So you have to keep surrendering that person and letting them go and you focus on your healing. Um, Cause that's what the journey is about. And then they might come back to test you and that to see if you've healed or not, or whether you're going to take them back and go through the same loop. All eyes on you. Is that, make sense to you so again this message is for the collective but it's also for you believe and trust okay so what's meant for you is going to come in for you where we get lost is when we try and force things so let's let's talk about forcing things and so we will pull a timing right and timing is when we try to put control on things so let's put something in your head we're going to do a collective timing uh ask a question and you don't have to put it into the comment window this is for the collective spirit. Give me the timing of whatever the majority of the collective is thinking about right now. And spirit gave me two cards right out the gate after taking a different path mm -hmm. and change the perspective from observation. So effectively, spirit's telling you again, take a different path, right? And I think we've been seeing these messages come through the entire time. You know, if at first it doesn't succeed, well, guess what? You know, you need to try a different uh, strategy and the different strategy, uh, you know, is what may get you uh, out of that loop, right? If, you know, Einstein says, and I keep on repeating this through every, every read I do, um, you know, the, the definition of insanity is trying to do the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. So whatever that you have been doing that hasn't been providing those results, observe and just release something else. Uh, from that, from somebody, uh, observe, change the perspective, and try a different mm -hmm. route, right? And there is a different route there. A lot of times we just don't see it. Uh, trust me, I've uh, been victim to that over and over and over again for many times. Uh, and, you know, sometimes you just kind of need to, you know, take a, take a step back from the situation. 
And so, so hopefully that helps. So here's the thing too, is that everything is related to what's going on within us to heal, help us heal. And I, I get it that you are in love with him and you want him back. Um, but this is all a lesson of discernment, um, of attachment, um, abandonment wounds. So make sure you're going within. Um, yeah, they're saying learn from your mistakes. So um, let's see what else we can get. Forgive yourself. You need to forgive yourself. Um, and know that this is all part of your healing journey. So um, know that a twin just comes in, even a catalyst twin or a false twin, they're teaching you a lesson to get you on that higher path to that better soulmate. So it's all happening for you and it's reopening. So sometimes it can hurt because it's reopening our heart chakra to the real person. So your thoughts create your reality. So really be careful of what your thoughts and and who you want back. So say you want this person back. They chose another party. Do you really want someone who chose someone else over you? That shows that you're not knowing that you're worthy enough of something better. So do you really want someone who chose someone else? You really have to think about this because we get so swamped with, oh, I love that person and they left, but they went to someone else. So they're learning a karmic lesson and do they really appreciate you? So make sure you are stepping into your full power because you're giving that person your power away. Um, and yeah, choose love over fear. You're in this fear lack mentality. You really need to get out of it and thinking that this is your only person. It's not your only person. And, and they need to come back healed and um, with an apology as well as just knowing that they're, they've changed. So be very concerning of how they treat you and that they think they can just walk back right back into your life. So just don't take someone back that treated you like that. That shows that you need to work on your worth. Do you use black magic on him? Um, well, I don't know what you want to talk about that one, Lara. <laughs> yeah. So, so I, 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 this is going to, this is going to slap a lot of people in the face because there's a lot of people that sit there and talk about black magic and dark magic. Honestly, the one that's doing this to yourself is yourself. It's your subconscious is making su contracts uh, with that other person to keep you stuck. Right? There's a large part of you that wants to sit here in this uh, nightmare that we have here, keeping us trapped as prisoners. And it's not a popular opinion, uh, but this is where it really sits. It's that you're doing this to yourself. Everything that everything that happens in your life is something that you're causing from your own self, from the darker aspects of yourself that don't want to heal, that want to stay into this comfortable environment of mm -hmm. the negativity. And it's the most difficult thing to break. Trust me, I go, I've go. i gone through it, still going through it, and it's hard. It's very difficult. It's not for the, uh, for the weary, shall we say, because this is a daily event that what you have to finally do is take control of your subconscious and get it to manifest what you want because your subconscious is what's manifesting things, not your conscious. You know, I want to say affirmations every day. It, that helps, and it helps to try to focus the subconscious, but you have to rein it in, and you have to constantly be uh, vigilant uh, to rein it in because it's not going to It's not gonna go. It's been having its way for trillions of years. You've been manifesting this stuff, and so uh, I'm not going to say it's easy. It's a very simple thing that's very tough at the same time and it's three 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 as i say that uh, into the into the broadcast and so uh it just take that as a message that you just have to you have to rein yourself in and it's you that's controlling you and it's you that's controlling your experience because you're creating your experience around it you can choose to stay in the collective experience or you can choose to stay in your own experience but it's going to take time this is not something that's going to get cured by one reiki or one light language session it's going to be thousands right thousands well and just to give you a little perspective i mean i started this journey over 10 years ago so it's, it's a journey it's not a destination you have to be on this healing journey and even us we're still healing remnants of us that are coming up and emotions so um there's a lot to go through and people are just starting to do it but it is as larry said it's it's ourselves once you realize that it's ourselves that's really holding ourselves back you know, you're really fighting yourself. Um, and then it's your unconscious that's bringing those people into your life to teach you those lessons to learn that. So, um, 
you really have to take a step back and see why is this happening and really start to see that so that you can start breaking some of these cycles and these unhealthy things that are happening. Um, if you ever notice it's the same person or different person, same issue, that is the universe trying to teach you that lesson through different people. So you really trying to open your eyes to pay attention and also if this person chose a third party as i said you need to let them go let them heal that's their journey they come back to you, they come back to you but even if it's your twin you have to surrender it let it go that's part of their journey you can't get upset about it and you need to keep bringing it back to yourself and how this is healing you because that will bring it in that much faster because you're not going to bring your person in until you're in alignment you're healing yourself and you're at that zero point where you are so trusting of this universe that you know it's coming in and you're not questioning or you're not having those abandonment wounds come up and i know we've we both experienced it uh, trust it trust me on that one it's it's, it's difficult person doesn't choose you it, it hurts but that's cracking your heart open for the right person or for that person to come back. And then they're learning through that other person a lesson that they have to learn in this life. Miguel is, was not even a person I was first attracted to, but once we talked, our connection was so, yes, deep. I got you. I understand. And, and that's because of a contract. I'll be honest with you. It's, it's all about contracts. It's contracts that you've written for yourself or a version of you has written for yourself. And a lot of it's what we call handlers, right? They're meant to keep you stuck, keep you into that lower vibration, to keep you from connecting to yourself to then heal and release that, whatever that was. And it started somewhere maybe two eons ago where you had an experience and then you're repeating that same experience over and over again until you're able to heal it. And it's, it's really hard. I mean, like I say, we all go through it. And, and you know, it can create a lot of difficulty, but you have to go ahead and you know realize it and figure out how to release that energy and sometimes that energy gets stuck and although you want to release it it just doesn't want to get out of there and you have to find a way to do that uh, so i think we've beaten this one to a dead horse uh, so we have a question from summer uh, shanice is my fiance committed to you so my first answer summer is i'm hoping so because you know asking that questions uh, not not good because it means you have a lot of doubts. So let's see let's see what the energy is uh, between the two of you for the first part. So Summer or Shanice, let's see what the energy is between you and your fiance. And right away, I got two three cards came out. Uh, I've got a rekindle. I've got a bonding. And I've got a material attachment. So there's an attachment. Yeah, I can see that because it's showing that in the cards. You have your doubts. And let me see what else we have for Shanice. Well, wow, two of them just flew out. Give your relationship a chance and soulmate. And I'm just going to ask the yes or no cards. Is her fiance who she's meant to be with? Mm -hmm. And right away, one card popped out. And card says yes right so whatever those doubts are whatever those fears are you're going to have to start to sort them out um, and just this is a commercial that may be applicable or applicable to both of you that we're just talking about the questions uh, that's for you summer and uh, who's the previous I think it was any who or whatever mm -hmm. the the we're doing a, a group healing right it's 8 8 portal right now the energies have been uh, available to us for the past two weeks and mm -hmm. It is pushing a lot of really deep, deep stuff coming up. What I've been mm -hmm. seeing is inner child abandonment, rejection wounds. Um, they're coming up like there's no tomorrow. They're forcing it out of you, whether what you've been afraid to look at. You're getting forced to look at it whether you like it or not. And so one of the things that we have is we have a, a group healing that's going on next weekend. It's on Sunday. It'll be 4 p.m. Uh, Eastern time. It's going to be recorded. Uh, it's not, this one's not free. This one is a, a charge because it's going to be a huge amount of energy that I'm going to bring in. As soon as it's going to bring in, I'm going to bring in some crazy, 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 crazy strong light codes. They're already starting to come into me uh, for the past two, three weeks now. Uh, for a lot of people who are going to show up for this, it's $20 a minimum donation and uh, suggested donation is 50 It will be recorded so you can watch this over and over again. And it will help you uh, to get past some of these situations. Now, at the same time, it's going to bring up a lot of energies. And when the thing, when energies bring up, you're going to face a lot of things. But you're going to face things that you've been afraid to face for a long time. And 
it's going to be short and quick uh, and it's going to bring those energies up to be seen you just need to release them and releasing them is one of the hardest things we have because a lot of times we're not ready to release it because we want to hold on to it so bad that we don't know how to release i mean like i say i i, I personally go through this quite a bit where it's sometimes hard for me to release things that should be released and uh, with that uh, hopefully you guys want to sign up if you do uh, we're taking names uh, and payments uh, right now we're finally uh, at that place where we've set a time and a date we know when's the best time for all the people who are doing it uh, either uh, contact myself or Susan. Uh, you mm -hmm. can Venmo us or PayPal. And on the Venmo or PayPal, just make sure you put in uh, a correct email address so we can send you the link uh, as well as uh, the payment. And like I say, it's donation based. Minimum donation is 20. Um, what we suggest is 50, but give what your heart uh, says uh, within that range or above. doesn't matter, but it's going to be super powerful. This is the one time of the year that you want to get on board because uh, this is the strongest time of the year with the most potential uh, for you to amplify your healings uh, a little bit longer the other thing i'm going to reiterate is the elephant came up so it says family tribe ancestors and ancient wisdom and knowledge so here's the other thing we need to start connecting with our soul family so if you're getting into alignment or you're starting to see your signs right now there's a reason larry and i are stepping into this to try and help people heal a little bit faster see what's going on get out of these loops so not only this this healing but we are talking about doing it either monthly or quarterly but i think you either have a monthly zoom to help people with whatever they're, they're going through um since we do do these on TikTok, i do some on instagram um and then larry has his youtube channel which i need to get back on but um I think it's important that we're kind of doing these group things because you need to be with more like-minded people that are going through it because it'll help you go through it faster. And then once we're answering a question for one person, you will learn from that as well. Um, it's what I did when I started doing awakening and grouping, um, joined an international coaching group, just got on a lot of group chats, was on a lot of um, uh, holistic doctors that were speaking out at the time. So it's all about learning and opening up your expansion um, so that you can move through this a little faster. And don't feel you're alone. Like I said, we're all going through this. I've been mind looping for the past two and a half, three months of different issues, and I'm still working through it. We're there, there, even though we're up here healing, we're still healing, right? Everybody's still healing. The, I'm, I'm in a group of, of healers that are healing too. And you know what? We're, yeah. we're all in it together, and you know, we all, we all have our highs and we all have our lows. And yeah. you know, there's you just have to ride that wave and it's really hard to do but you just have to and you have to learn to release release is one of the hardest things that we've uh done we've shall we say accomplished and when you have been able to release it's a great thing because for the most part most of us hold on to these energies for thousands and thousands of lifetimes repeating the same lifetime over and over again because we're not ready to face our shadows and you know like i say just Go in there with an open eye, and you know, some days you're going to have a great day, some days you're not, but just keep showing up. Yeah, so just know we're all going through this. What is soul family? Okay, so when we get incarnated in here, sometimes we are actually incarnated into our karmic family that is lessons. So we learn those trauma, um, you know, got, not getting the love that we deserve, and we have those abandonment wounds. So soul family is like me and Larry, I, um, Shelby, people that are on the spiritual path. Um, so once you start doing the healing, you'll start to notice soul family. You'll start to kind of get rid of those toxic narcissistic patterns or those karmic people that are in your life that are sucking and draining you. You'll start to start discerning who you want to be around and who you don't want to be around. And you, you can just feel into it as someone who makes you feel at ease and calm versus someone who seems like they're depleting you. And you can tell soon after, so you have to start doing your protection um and you have to start letting those people go you can't be around them and it's not that you can't be around some family members because i do have to do protections to go around them but for the most part you can't be hanging around all those people because it will just bring you down and you will slow down on your journey so um and it doesn't have to be mean you don't have to be negative about those people they're just on their journey and they're stuck wherever they are and it's not for us to save them they need to save themselves and you don't want to be around them while they're going through this negativity journey I mean, yeah. i've been around a lot of them where they just are in that victim mentality they can't say no to things um i mean there's true signs that we're seeing that you know fibromyalgia um chronic fatigue 
are basically people that are not saying no in their life. They're overextending themselves and it's their time to start stepping up to say no to things in their life. So everything is an emotion. Everything is affecting you and how you're dealing with it. So it's all teaching us boundaries. It's teaching us to step up for ourselves. It's teaching us to use our throat chakra in a healthy, compassionate way. So don't be being nasty to family. You speaking up to them because you don't want that bad karma coming back to you either. But they are on a different journey. I know I struggle with trying to help my family and they are all completely lost. There is not one of them that is any way, shape or form waking up. Um, and it's sad, but it is what it is. You can only lead them to water and show them. Um, and I'm sure I'm triggering them to, to open up a little bit. But for the most part, um, it's very sad to see people around you not really understanding what's going on. So this, I think this is like a, a curse and a gift because sometimes you don't really want to see what's going on. So once you start to see things from a higher perspective, it can be a little crazy um, and overwhelming um, to see what you've gone through and that you've broken through, but then you see people that are still stuck in those loops. So we are here to help you break out of them. Yeah, really and, 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 to, and to, to add to that really quickly, you know, yeah. you, you, write, you write these, uh, when, you, when you incarnate, you incarnate in groups, and, uh, you know, as Susan says, you've got a lot of contracts that you've written with the group. Some are karmics, and some of them are your soul family that you're meant to heal with, but the, the key to it is, is that you're not responsible for anybody else's healing. They're not responsible for yours. You're responsible for yourself. Right? And as you focus on self, and this has been a hard one because everybody thinks they have to heal everybody else. No, you're not, you're not meant to heal anybody else. You're stuck just as much as they are. And so what you need to do is concentrate on yourself. And as you concentrate on yourself and remove yourself from the collective matrix programming, because there's cords, like if, if I looked at every one of you, I'd see cords everywhere yanking you here, 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 all over the place. And they're connecting you to the collective consciousness. And that allows the collective consciousness to manifest, not what you want, but what their consciousness is. And most of it's pretty dark. They're manifesting what you're seeing out in your reality now. And the, the key is to get into your own reality, get rid of those cords, and start manifesting what you want. And as you take your energy away from them, well, guess what? The energy goes back to you, and the collective gets lighter and lighter because as every person disconnects, it's like the matrix. You start disconnecting from those wires, and as you disconnect, then the collective actually benefits from that same thing by you focusing on yourself. It seems counterintuitive. You should light and love everybody. No, it's not a matter of that. You should light and love yourself. And as you light and love yourself, the byproduct of it is that everybody else starts to move across. And that's why you're starting to see a lot more people awaken. And it's not because we've done a collective healing and we try to do group manifestations. It's because you're solving your problems and as you solve your problems the collective problems go away because you're removing all those bits away from them so that they don't have the energy to manifest i hope that makes sense okay yeah and amy yeah so wow i really crave meeting soul family my family too but here's the thing jump on these group things that we're going to be doing whatever you're getting called to because that's what i did and you're going to start to meet soul family and you're going to start to get in contact with some of these people that are on these group chats together that are going through the same thing. They might be in different parts of the country and they will help you and you'll just start to realigning with more and more of them as you do it. Um, but as you do it, they will be people that are going to be on the journey, uplifting you and not putting you down or looking at you like you're crazy for going through this. And you don't need to be with those type of people that don't understand what's going on and are it's just they're at it, you know, there's no good and bad. It's just everyone's at a different level um, and in their own consciousness and where they are. Um, and some people might choose not to ever grow in this lifetime and that's up to them and that's their choice. But you want to be stuck around someone that's just stuck their head in the sand and just wants to stay there because they're going to see you and they're going to bring that negativity down to you. Yeah, and just consciously shield yourself, as Susan said. You keep that, keep that shielding up. I mean, you can't avoid people uh, who are around you all the time. But what mm -hmm. you can do is you can set an intent, and you just set the intent that those energies don't affect you. It's going to take time, even with intention, uh, for that to actually happen. Um, but in the meantime, just keep setting that intention. Be, you know, be, be. Uh, do you say proactive or persistent? Be persistent because that persistence is what's going to pay off in the end. It, you know, this is not a, this is not, it's tortoise in the hair, right? It's consistency in the race. The day you, you show up every day, showing up, 
even if you don't believe you're showing up, you're showing up. Even if you don't see you're showing up, you're showing up. And as you set those intentions to show up, it's going to show up in your life. Uh, sometimes it's so shallow you don't notice it, but it is there. And it will be there and it will keep on building upon itself until all of a sudden that wave hits and boom, you see that you see that big splash of sunshine. You know, so hopefully you just stay at it, work at it and, you know, be consistent. Well, be mindful not, of it. It's not only you'll learn, it's not only through love people you learn, it's through karmic family members, it's through karmic friends. So you'll go through the gamut of it. I mean, um, it's even sometimes things come through your kids that you have to learn. So just be aware of it's everything kind of working. I, I had to cut off a sister over three years ago that she was so toxic. So it is not easy. It's not fun. It's very upsetting when you have to let go of someone that you really care about. Um, that's so toxic, but it is what it is. It's not worth being around them if they're constantly putting you down and they're in their own narcissism. Um, so it doesn't matter whether it's family, friends, a per person that you're putting up with. It's you have to set those boundaries. You need to be healthy and choosing healthy for yourself. Um, so, um, it is what it is of the journey. It is part of the journey. But also think about that that person came into this lifetime and you could have been something else in another lifetime and they're teaching you that lesson. So have compassion for that. Um, yes, I have a horribly toxic sister as well and I have to cut her off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I cut my sister off over 30 years ago. And so, you know, yeah, I'm aging myself here. But, you know, it, it I've never looked back. And sometimes it's your mom and your dad that they're so toxic. You can't just... i hardest. Yeah. You can't, you can't just walk away sometimes from it, but what you can do is you can control the, uh, shall we say, the availability of yourself to those people, and you can you know, choose to uh, be more mindful in your interactions, and as you do that, you're going to find that moving, removing yourself from those energies, like I say, it's all with intent, uh, you're going to find that you're going to heal a lot faster. And again, anybody who's having these kind of questions, I think we've been, you know, a lot of people at least personally for me, I'm not sure about for Susan, but there are people who yeah. require certain, certain, shall we say, opinions and or mm -hmm. perspectives, and they'll show up for the lives. So sometimes I won't get a lot of people, but I'll get the one or two people that need the message because I'm a, oh. I'm a divine channel and I, I just get messages and I don't judge them. I just allow them to come through. And effectively, sometimes this is the time to do it. And if you've been called to watch this, more than likely you've been called to join the group healing you know, not this is not just a push for an advertisement. This is a, is is an opportunity to help, right? And allow you to help yourself because even with the Reiki and even with the light language, I'm not helping you. Susan's not helping you. You're helping yourself. All we're doing is we're speaking to your soul and saying, "Hey, do you really want to be in this pain?" And here's some codes to help you directly from your higher self. Like there's multiple higher selves. You have very many levels of them, but the ones that are outside of polarity are rooting for you. They're giving you an opportunity to heal, but you have free will here, so you can choose to stay in the comfortability of what you want, or you can choose to exit the simulation and decide to go through. They don't care which way you go. They're supporting you at every set, every moment of every second, and they're they're providing you right now. We've got an influx of energy from the highest of the highest selves to allow us to break free without being inside of the collective energies right now. It's the first time they've done that in trillions of years. And so while these energies are there, they're giving you the choice. It's a lifeline, right? They're sending you a life, boat, life raft and saying, hey, if you really want to get out of this place, we're going to help you get there. Uh, but you have to choose, right? They're not going to force you because if they force you, it's against your free will. And this is a free will universe. Uh, you just wait for the reset in the next uh, thousand to two thousand years, and everything resets. But you'll lose all the all the experience that you had uh, within this lifetime, and that's a horrible thing to do because we've been cycling for so long that we've done everything, been everything, done every experience there is. Do you really want to lose that? Choose yourself. Yeah, and it's all about just, yeah, choose yourself, self-love. This is all teaching you to love yourself and be in that where you don't need anyone. And then that brings in everything that you need because you're at that point where you, because what you're doing is you're saying, I need, I need, I need, which is telling the universe, I don't have. So they're going to keep giving that to you until you are complete with yourself and you're giving that self-love to yourself so that that person can come in. 
Otherwise, you're going to keep attracting people that don't love themselves because you don't love yourself and it's all lessons. So you have to keep learning it until you start giving that to yourself and stop giving your power away to other people and family and friends are the hardest. Love is still the hardest, but just keep surrendering and letting go and what is meant for you will flow to you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Amy's saying she's horrible. Talks to sister. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like I say, Definitely, I definitely never, consider the group healing. Husband, if I didn't have my narcissistic sister, uh, sisters and mother, so it is what yep. it is. I had the same okay. issue with myself too. My my ex wife was the same way. Even my daughter recognizes it as such. But you know, like I say, uh, you can only you can only do so much. Um, but it starts with you. It always starts with you. It always ends with you. And it's the most difficult and, and the hardest part of the journey. I, I know. I've had more than enough tantrums over that fact that, you know, I'm creating this mess of whatever it is that's there, and you don't want to realize, how could I do this? Why? No, you've done it because of all the energies that are sitting inside your subconscious that haven't wanted to come through. And it's hard. It's a hard reality, but, you know, once you realize it, you can start taking control. And even if it's an inch a day, a millimeter a day, it's still a millimeter more than what you had before. And it just builds, right? And you know, I can't, I can't reiterate it enough. Um, hopefully, it, it, you know, it is the message that some people want to hear. Uh, you know, either here or the replay. But this is, you know, the message I have. I have a hard stop in about five minutes. So if we have any questions, yeah. we've been ranting for a while. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was going to say that's uh, reel it in. But it is a hard journey. But the other thing is, you do get blessings on the side once you do the work. So just see that for what it is. I mean, some people don't choose to heal and that's them, but they're going to get stuck in that karmic loop. So you do get your blessings and more things that are aligned to you when you start doing the healing. So yes, it's not easy it's ripping off those onion layers, but it is worth it in the end. Um, so just know that um, definitely more of my gifts came online. Definitely um, I'm more at peace with things. Um, I definitely have cut out so many more people out of my life. Um, so there's definitely good things that come on the other side. You get to work with your soul family. You get to help others. And even if it's one person a day, like Larry said, I mean, we're just blessed if we help one person a day that we're on here, you know, helping them go in the right direction and making them feel like, you know, they're not losing their minds. So um, it's all about us being there for each other. We don't make millions of money dollars from this. This energy exchange. We, we both have kids and it's, this is not really paying our bills. So any energy exchange is just helping us a little bit. Um, just know that, but it is energy exchange because we are putting that out there and we are helping. Um, so know that and what you put into it is what you get out of it too. So if you're not putting any energy into it, um, that says a lot too. Um, so sometimes the universe won't do that until you start putting that energy out there. It's almost like giving money to a homeless person, okay? Judgment of that person and what they're going to do with it comes back to you. Whether you just do it from the kindness of your heart and you just let them deal with it and whatever they do it, but it's just you giving that out of the kindness of your heart, not having that judgment of whatever that person's doing with that money. It's an energy exchange. So you have to get out of that judgment of, okay, well, they whatever, they're just giving me answers. They don't really deserve the money. Then that's kind of you stuck in that judgment as well. Yes, you've helped me a lot today. Oh, Amy, I'm glad we've helped you a lot today. Yes, that's all we all we ask for. We we hope that we help one person. If it's two, it's a, an amazing bonus. But as long as one person walks away with something, some sort of a, what we call a cleat on, and sometimes it comes in a form of a reading from somebody else, uh, but it resonates within you. And I get the cleat ons and readings I give. Because a lot of times there's messages for me inside each of those readings, and sometimes even inside of my own ranting, because you know, like I say, I. <laughs> I, I, the, the messages come directly through through me, uh, unfiltered. Uh, yeah. I wish I could filter them, but uh, if I did, then I would put my perspective on what the messages are meant to do. And I don't want to do that because then it changes the meaning of the message. But they come through, and you know, sometimes you got to sit back and say, "Oh shit, that rant that I just went on that applies to me." Oh, maybe I should, <laughs> you know, I, I can see back to that situation where it, it was me yeah. and, you know, that helps. And, and that's why it's 
always good to watch these readings, even if you don't get a card read. That mm -hmm. sometimes what you will do is you will actually get a message that's meant for you to hear. There's a lot of messages come in not only for that specific person, but for the collective, right? And yes. like you said the collective is us too. We're <laughs> we're yeah. all there we're as much as we. Too, yeah. Yeah, so Amy saying both of you, thank you. Yeah, so again, yeah, even messages we put out there, they're for us too. Like when I get grounding or meditation, um, I whatever I do my readings for the collective, they are messages in there for me as well. So don't think we think we're any what above it. Um, stuff comes. I barked through three that. things today because it just was something that was releasing because I was saying a message and I'm realizing, wait a second, that message is for me too. And mm -hmm. all of a sudden, I yeah. feel that release. So just know, and it's about discernment and just knowing what's for you, what you're getting pulled to at the time. You might get pulled to us now. Next month, you get pulled to listen to something else. Just go with whatever you're getting pulled to. There's a reason for it. Same thing. Your, your consciousness is, is trying to drag you and teach you and depends on who's going to teach you those lessons and help you. So everyone, thank you. Please like, share, um, subscribe. Um, I think you can subscribe to Larry's YouTube channel with his light language. We both do readings. We are doing. We might have time for one free question, and then um, we probably won't have time for any minis, but we do do $20 minis. Um, we'll be back on Thursday, and then $40 fulls. Now, those are discount, and Larry's also adding his light language onto it, which is a bonus, and then I'm adding my Reiki. So... This is for the month of August only. Um, normally prices are much higher, so just take that into account. Um, we do appreciate any Venmo, PayPal. We are normally on Mondays and Thursday mornings at 8 a.m. I am on Instagram Wednesday nights and Sunday nights. Um, we are doing the group healing on Sunday, August 11th at 4 p.m. And then we probably might get into doing more group chats um, depending on who jumps on that. And then, um, you know, we'll be trying to jump on here and there if we can to answer any questions. But we both post readings. Um, I do Reiki and readings. He does some readings and the light language. And then if anyone needs that past life regression or any kind of Akashic stuff, just reach out. My girlfriend can pull them or I can do um, your Akashic as well. Um... Oh, and past love, like, uh, passed on loved ones. So if you have any messages of someone that's recently passed, they've been coming through to me as well. Um, so usually just we're guided, and that's what part of the journey is to release and surrender and just know you don't need to know everything. This is a huge thing you learn on this journey is when you're trying to realize your purpose or everything, everything will come to you as you just get in that ease and flow. And it's just that trusting that the universe will deliver it and that trusting that you will be given the knowledge when it comes through. Um, so it's about that trusting. So again, that believing and trusting. Do you believe that it's coming in for you or do you do not? You've got your root chakra, so make sure you're doing maybe um, a root chakra uh, meditation tonight. That's helpful. Um, oh, good, Amy. Yeah, let me know. Um, reach out to me. Um, it's her. I posted it, Divine Love with Shelby. Um, she's on Instagram. Just She's not, I think, I don't know whether she's on TikTok. She might be on TikTok. Um, but she's usually on Instagram more. So yeah, reach out to me and I'll give you her information. Or if you can find her, you can message her yourself. All right, that's on my Instagram mindset reset 20. Um, and it's divine love with Shelby. Doo -doo -doo. All right, five on here. So change is here. I need to do a walk and some meditation. It's Monday. Mondays are rough. And I'm going to pull one last message from your person before I go. So yes. just think of your person. And this is the message. Mm -hmm. Will you help me is the message. And no, you won't. And the reason you won't help them is because they need to help themselves. And that's codependency that's coming up right there. Um, it's, yeah. like I say, it's in the air. <laughs> And uh, hearing Phil Collins in the air tonight, right? It's 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 there, um, and you have to help yourself, and it's a, mm -hmm. it's the most difficult thing. But just choose you, as you choose you, you choose what's meant for you. So just think of it as a, as a mind loop. It's just trying to keep you directed at someone else, thinking that you can save your twin or you can save this other person. No, we're not here to save them. And I know we have great hearts and em we're empathic, but it's for us to save ourselves and it's up to them to save themselves. And you will exhaust yourself 
to the end if you keep focusing on that other person and that just distracts you and keeps you off your purpose it keeps you off your healing journey and then you just get angry and you act like a victim it can keep you into a horrible toxic spiral so keep choosing yourself keep surrendering that person even if they keep coming back toxically and they're triggering you make sure you keep bringing back to yourself and say what is this teaching me what is this teaching me you can cry it out you can do it for 24 hours but then you have to bring it back and say okay what is why is this going on uh, did i message him and he didn't message me back it's triggering me um yeah make sure you're it's all part of the journey um if they left for someone else we already have an experience what is that teaching you they're not valuing you they're not seeing your worth so um are you seeing your worth are you seeing your value these are all things you need to bring back to yourself if you're constantly thinking of someone else that's with someone else. Amy, you're welcome. All right, we got three left. You have to get off. And you're working today? Yeah, I'm going, going in a few. So if you got one or two questions, great. I can uh, jump so. in if not. If if not, I'm I've got I've got nobody left on my side. I think the messages that needed to come out for me came out, and that's generally what I'll see. Uh, just suggestion: if you All guys right, are well, still on, we'll you guys. Do one more, and, yep. and then the other thing is, I will be on tonight. TikTok, if you want to jump on there tonight, I'm going to have Shelby on. I think around eight eight thirty tonight, because um, she wanted to do TikTok and Instagram, so we can do that posting so people. See. Yeah, if you can give me her, her direct link, I, I, I'll message her on the side of my my concerns and see what see whether she can go past them. So the message is you are gifted. So your gifts are coming in. We've been seeing this. So some of you need to hydrate with water, make sure, or your be it round water that is helpful um, and can be grounding as well as wish upon a star. So make sure you're wishing for and being intentional with what you want. Okay, you have these gifts coming online. Are you paying attention? Some of you, your intuition is really kicking in, so you really need to start paying attention to what's going on. Those are the collective messages. We will be posting this, and then I will be on later tonight with Shelby around 8, 8.30 on TikTok, and then me and Larry will be back on Thursday morning. We're also going to sign up. Make sure you're signing up for that group healing we're doing. Um... And then reach out to either one of us if you need something. Definitely, Larry, for any light language, um, you can get on his YouTube, but you can also get a more directed one that's specifically to you um, or a reading. Um, so just make sure you're reaching out to either one of us that you get pulled to or called to. All right. I guess that's it. There's two people on. I don't see any other new questions. All right. So, you know, if you guys are still on, you've been watching for a while. Uh, again, this is your sign. Uh, mm -hmm. Try to join our uh, group healing. It's not crazy expensive. It's less than a cup of coffee at Starbucks, uh, but mm -hmm. can give you a heck of a lot better returns than just being wired and amped up, you know, for an hour or two. Uh, this is a life healing. And if you, uh, you know, feel called, uh, take the take the leap. I mean, like I say, you've got to take a leap at one point, a leap of faith. And uh, hopefully uh, you guys can trust us with some of that healing. And if you can, great. We'd love to see you. Uh, but this is time to, you know, make that decision. Uh, step up to the line and, uh, you know, go ahead, put that PayPal or Venmo in. Uh, put this, uh, put in the subject, you know, group healing and uh, make sure that we have your email. You can always just uh, email us with all this information. But uh, once we have that, uh, we're going to send out links and, uh, we're going to we're going to get to some major healings i mean the codes that have been coming into me have been out of control that my body can barely handle them um so as this is going to be a really big one um if you if you're willing to take well, that step yeah and amy what did you said tell tell okay tell me what that is what what is what um so the other thing is too we have to be very conscious of is that they know when these portals open too so very protection is a big thing around this time so make sure you're protecting yourself um, in this ascension process. Um, so, um, they know that certain things are coming in at certain times. So they, yep. there is yep. sometimes more spiritual attacks at certain times as well. And when I say the codes are coming in, you're, because time is really a construct that was helped. It was put in probably about, uh, I think they say like a hundred million years ago or so, or maybe somewhere around that space to help us to actually get to a place where we can heal instead of just keep on repeating everything all the time. And mm -hmm. so they know who's going to show up. 
right? And with pretty certainty. So what I do is I get I get downloaded the codes of all the people that are showing up because each each person from the light code perspective uh, is going to get a separate healing. Like what? Although I may be speaking it out, it speaks it out in multiple dimensions, and so your soul is only going to get what you're going to get. Uh, same with her Reiki, it's going to keep coming in and each person is going to have the experience that they need and the codes that they need and so their team, their higher self, their guys, they're all pumping down all the codes that are required. So if you show up and it's a probability, right, they, they're looking at, well, if you're 70% or better, I'm getting the codes. If you show up, they're there. If you decide you want to watch it on the replay, they're there. And so it takes a while to pull all that stuff down uh, mm -hmm. while, we're in that, while we're in the space of time. So hopefully that helps. Yeah, and Amy, yeah, so the light language, just listening to it, even if you don't quite understand it, your body will understand it. Same thing with Reiki, it's emotions, we help release the energies, so your body will recognize it too, and I can tap into it, but his light language is a little different, it's just listening to it, the more you listen to it, it will help you release it, um, and not worry about what it is that you're you're actually listening to, so also reach out for readings for each either one of us um or any kind of guidance so um just let us know i don't know amy what you're saying whether you're asking about readings or the light language or um okay she might have popped off i'm not really sure all right well i gotta jump anyway this is yeah. my time and right. thank everybody for coming by all right Cheers. thank you guys all right bye